Another week, another starting quarterback for the Carolina Panthers who will start Kyle Allen against the New Orleans Saints in the season finale because Taylor Heineke was placed on injured reserve with an injured elbow. After the game, of course, on Sunday, Heineke was very emotional, maybe knowing his fate was sealed, but in comes Kyle Allen, Ron Rivera making that official on Wednesday, and the locker room concurs. Kyle had an opportunity to come in and play for a little bit of a quarter and thought he did a nice job. What did you like about what he did? I thought his decision making was good. I thought he threw some nice balls. Um, and, uh, you know, <laughs> he took pretty good control. You know, it was um, kind of interesting to watch him, though he, he has a tendency to walk towards the, the bench to get the signals, and we don't have to signal anymore because they got the helmet uh, hooked up. So um, I think it's a little something he'll have to learn and get used to. Well, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really change for us. It's all the same plays and um, all the same ins and outs. The only thing that really changes, is, uh, I guess, um, just the different types of, of throws uh, that Kyle makes different than, than Taylor and then that Taylor made different than Cam. So, you know, it's just all getting used to, to the guys throwing the ball, which that's why we practice every day. Now the Panthers also bringing in Garrett Gilbert. If that name sounds familiar, it's because it is. Gilbert has a long history with the Panthers, so to speak. He's been brought on by the team many times, cut a couple of times. Started in 2017 when he was signed, then cut, then named to the practice squad, then cut again. But they bring him in, and he told us that it's been difficult to stay ready on a week-to-week -week basis. He said he's considered it basically a full-time job. You know, I'm, I'm here to, to uh, compete and, and, you know, do whatever role the team asks me uh, and, and perform that to the best of my ability. So, you know, my, my, my job is, is uh, you know, whether it be to, to support, support Kyle um, or, or, or go out and play, that, that's what I'm here to do. And, um, you know, I, I feel like I, I've got a good feel for this offense, and so it's nice to not be uh, starting from square one. And certainly, you know, I've been gone for four months or so. There's some new wrinkles, but I, I, I feel very good about uh, the language, the verbiage, and, and, and I also feel great about, uh, you know, the level of communication I already get, have with most of the guys that are on the team. I think that's, that's a huge part of it is uh, I'm not coming into here. I'm not coming in here blind. Very interesting here. According to ESPN Research and Information, since the league started an 18-game schedule in 1978, no team has started 6-2 and lost their final eight games. So the Panthers on the wrong side of history. Now, as far as Greg Olson, he was wheeling himself around in the locker room with one leg suspended in the air, fresh off foot surgery. It's that same right foot that's been giving him trouble for a couple of years. He doesn't know whether he'll be back or not next year. He said it's not really entirely up to him. A little more involved in this one. This one's a little more of like the final. This. This was this is one that you can't really come back in the season. So last year when we really wanted to come back as fast as we could, um, you know, we knew obviously there was a small percentage, a handful of guys have had re you know re fractures or whatnot or issues again. Um, you know, so this time did kind of the full the full deal. And typically every guy that I've talked to that has had this second follow up one kind of fixes it for good. You know, you're, you're probably talking you know three four months on this one, but. You know, that still has plenty of time taking us into, you know, what would be OTAs and whatnot. So we're, uh, that's not really my main concern right now as much as just getting this thing fixed. What they feel my future is here, um, what other opportunities present themselves, it's hard to, it's hard to say. You know, I, I still enjoy playing. I still know I can play. Um, but that decision's not always up to me. So we'll, uh, we'll let the kind of chips fall that they may at the end of the season and uh, you know, speak with the team, kind of see what their plan is, see what the plan of the future of the organization, where we're heading. You know, there's so many factors right now, I think, that are in play that it's not a matter as whether I want to or not as much as whether or not that's in the cards. Now looking ahead to the game, the Saints and the Panthers on Sunday, there is plenty of reason for the Saints to be flying high. Of course, they're going into the playoffs with a full head of steam. So what will motivate the New Orleans Saints on Sunday? 14 wins, we'll see. And the team's illustrious 51-year history. They've never won 14 games in the regular season. Head coach Sean Payton won 13 twice, including the 2009 Super Bowl title year. Payton says 14 wins is motivation enough as they look toward a matchup with the Carolina Panthers on Sunday. Anytime you have a player like Cam who's not playing, um, 
you know, there's a big drop off just from uh, his ability and experience and the things that he provides, you know, when he's under center. So uh, more than anything, you know, we'll look closely at the offense, the self scout on our own, and then what they're doing. Uh, anything different from it was only two weeks ago, but uh, I think you have to prepare for what you're seeing overall philosophically, offensively, knowing that there'll be some changes uh, with with the quarterback. We have a chance to win our 14th regular season game, which which has never been done here before, and you know I think that's important. Uh, I do think uh, heading into this postseason, knowing that the following week is going to be an off week. Uh, uh, improving in areas that that you see that we need to improve in, uh, all of those things um, will be smart. And at the same time, recognize though that uh, with the, with the roster size where it's at, um, you know your team's going to have to play a good portion of the game. And you know positionally, uh, you know we'll see how the week unfolds. But uh, I, I do think that opportunity of winning winning our, our 14th regular season game is significant. But for the Carolina Panthers, to a man, they told us they are finishing and not finishing up. Uh, you know, you always want to want to get, you know, at least one win to, to end the year. Uh, like you say, just to, you know, just, you know, more. You, you never want to count more victories, but, uh, you know, you got to start somewhere. A game on tape and also just for this coaching staff to see, you know, our character, you know, that we're not looking to the offseason and we're not looking towards anything else but the New Orleans Saints. And like I said, it starts right now. It is, you know, we're not just going to, you know, uh, have a lackadaisical week and then expect to show up and win. You know, starting today, you know, with guys having the right mindset at practice, being engaged in meetings and, you know, finishing out or uh, not finishing up, but finishing. You know, just just that that word finish. You know, not finishing up. That, that sounds like you, you almost like you know you're doing it because you have to. You know, we're doing it because we want to. So the Panthers and the Saints at one o'clock on Sunday. We will have all the game information. Just follow us and head to adsn1.com for all your Panthers coverage.